Hi everyone, I'm Arbazir and welcome back to another episode of Civilization 5 Dead It Wins Nuke Canada with Quill 18. This, this is basically Fallout 4 Canadian edition. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I got some super mutants roaming around. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm broke. And there might be more nukes incoming. Do you still have some nukes? Uh, I am six turns away from a nuke. Mm -hmm. But okay. that's it. How much gold do you have? Uh, zero and losing 48 per turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could I send you some money. I have 2400 right now. Well, but probably I... not enough for one full nuke. Since I'm only making 20 gold per turn myself. And I need the money for rocket artillery upgrades, actually. Yeah, do, do the rocket artillery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm moving as many units as possible towards Palenque. Mm -hmm. I don't see any units nearby. But that doesn't mean he won't move in with something fast. True. All right, I gotta figure out how to reconnect my road network here as like cheaply as possible. Uh, okay, so that's still connected. It's just over here that got out. Yeah, okay. All right, that's fine. I can recover that. Also, Pakal completed the Hubble Space Telescope in Uxmal, and his capital is in Venice, just for the viewers out there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We figured out. I don't know why it went to Venice, because Chichen Itza had a higher population. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe it's... It has to be somehow based on location. I don't yeah. know. Maybe on Wonders or something like that. Yeah, it could Venice be. Venice does have seven Wonders. Yeah, some value calculation for the city. So one, mm -hmm. two, three. So, okay, your artillery is in position, which is good. So I don't have to worry about getting in your way or anything. We should be able to take Tulum. Mm-hmm. I think so. Mm-hmm. Unless some kind of major disaster happens, but I don't think so. And that will be a nice city for you. How's your happiness, by the way? Mine's at 26. After I'm, at, I I'm at minus two now, because mm -hmm. all my okay, stuff's so... all pillaged and destroyed and nuked. So you could actually barely use the Eiffel Tower. That's true. Yeah. It's not huge happiness, but it's some. i got to get my workers in there. Actually, I should probably build a few more workers at this point. I'm going to have to clean up a lot of Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> so, question is, do we want to peace out as soon as possible, or try to keep attacking Pakal as long as we don't see a massive carpet of doom heading in our general direction. We might want to keep attacking. My only concern, of course, is that we're just going to keep getting nuked every turn. Well, maybe not every yeah. turn, but he's got a lot of money. He can keep buying nukes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That's also my concern. But we should definitely take at least Tulum. Not sure about these other cities. Not yeah. sure if we can do it. Yeah, Tulum is right there. It's basically free. It should be, I don't know. I just lost another mm -hmm. unit here. I'm kind of surprised at, but the city plus a bazooka, they do a lot of damage. Yeah. Here's a stupid question. Can a helicopter gunship actually capture cities? I never use these units. I... I, I want to say no, but I, I'm I not sure of a sudden. I'm not sure. <laughs> because they're not ranged, right? They mm -hmm. do replace cavalry, so yep. they probably can. Well, I'm blocking the way, but yeah, I have no idea. I legitimately don't know because I never use these units. <laughs> All right, I'm doing quite a lot of damage to Tulum. I should be able to defend Palenque. I have a lot of units heading that way. I would have more if I wasn't at war with Ify. It's kind of irritating. Yeah, city-states are such a pain sometimes. Hmm, yeah. I'm actually surprised that I didn't drop into negatives. But I guess that's because I relocated most of my trade routes yeah. to Spain instead. Well, and the only thing that you got nuked was Saleh, mm -hmm. which hardly matters. Literally, yeah. like, two best cities in the game. Mm hmm It's just been incinerated. Although I did start it. <laughs> I can't. That's I true. mean, yeah, I had it coming. This is true. Is that? There's a Mayan caravan near Vancouver, and I have no unit that can take it. Unless I can steal a caravan with a worker, but I'm guessing the answer is no. Oh, there we go. 
you know, I just like to point out that if Pakal wasn't as far ahead of us as he is, this game would be in the bug right now. Oh yeah, we would have won this easily. Yeah. With these monstrous cities, no one would possibly be able to oppose us. But we'll see how it goes. I already consider this a minor success. A minor victory, at least. Yeah, we nuked this capital, so we win. Yep, pretty much. Hey, he cheated, right? That's our version. <laughs> That's true, he did. Yeah. For those of you who don't remember, he built uh, the Sydney Opera House in Venice while it was a puppet under resistance. Yep. I mean, probably used a great engineer, but still, there's no way he should have been able to cue it. Yeah. And cities in resistance technically can't produce anything. There's a great engineer, like, three tiles from Moscow for some reason, so... I'm no, pretty not. sure that if you annex a city that's in resistance, which it wasn't, but if you annex a city that's in resistance, you still can't buy anything for gold until it's out of resistance. I'm pretty sure you can't. I, yeah, I, because the, sure. the role is that city in resistance just can't produce anything. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you produce it with zero hammers, you can't, or if you buy it, which you can't. So he totally cheated, that's my version. Mm -hmm. Well, what must be the case is that the AI can assign production in resistant mm -hmm. cities, although you can't, it wouldn't build, it wouldn't produce any hammers. And then using a great engineer allowed was allowed because you could queue it up. There was a bug a long time ago, I can't remember exactly how it worked, but uh, it allowed you to set productions in puppet cities. Do you remember that? And no, I don't remember that. Yeah, there was a way to do it, and you entered the city screen in like a certain way. I can't recall okay. what it is, but if you did it, then you could actually set the production in a puppet. Oh yeah, I heard about it somewhere, but I have no idea how it actually worked. Yeah, but yeah, I, I remember reading about it somewhere. Yeah, I tried it. I was like, yeah, okay, that that, mm -hmm. that yeah, definitely works, but I can't remember. It's been way too long. Okay, so Tolom is down to red. We can almost definitely take it, or you can almost definitely take it. Good, uh, man. Oh, this terrain. Spain is coming. All this fallout. It will take a while to clean all this fallout, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that's why I queued up some, uh, some workers. Yeah. I don't think I have that many workers. Yeah, I only have two workers. I think I lost a few. Yeah, but it's not like you have that much fallout. I think I had two workers near Sale, and he actually nuked oh, that's that. Right. If I move well, I have the caravans. fallout near Palenque. I would like to clean that. Oh, that's true. Who did that? That was very rude. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I have no idea who did that. I can leave them from Attila's court. about to finish an airport there. Nice. Okay. Oh, and you will get another nuke in a few turns, right? Yeah, I'm going to build one in three turns. Mm -hmm. So we could maybe try to take Chichen Itza, for example. Right. Uh, can I nuke it? Uh, yeah, I should be able to nuke that, definitely. Because we can take Tolum without a nuke, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pakal is offering me peace in exchange for St. Petersburg, Novgorod, Fez, Rostov, <laughs> Vancouver, and Tangiers. Yeah, I don't think so. So I could probably get a white piece, but no, mm -hmm. I think we're going to keep going a little bit longer. Yep. Well, he sees that we're threatening Tulum, so that's probably why. I wonder if he will peace out with me. Yeah, he will, but I'm not interested. We could maybe get him to pay us. He has so much gold. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind getting some of it, at least a few thousand or so. Right, he's got mechanized infantry in my territory right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not pleased. All right, so I have satellites. I'm not sure what I want to research next, actually. Have, have you bombarded Tulum yet this turn? Uh, no, let me do that real quick. Actually, yeah, I have. Okay. And I can't do it with anything else. Oh, wow, we have some deals to do. Yep. Let me send you that. And actually, if you don't mind sending me your extra citrus as well. Mm -hmm. Or sure. 
rather your extra gold, whichever one it was. There we go, I'm back in positive happiness. Yay! Hey, did you send any more deals to me? I don't see anything else. Uh, no, I guess I can just go and ask oh, you for okay. that one. There we go, gold. There you go. I'm happy I've had an ally for this one. Could you imagine this setup where you didn't have an ally? Yeah. It's just you against Pakal. Oh, that would be scary. With other weak um, AIs around for him to just dominate. You know, I just wanted to point out, I have the fourth strongest army right now. Mm -hmm. Spain is number one. Wow. Pakal is probably number two. I'm not sure oh. who's number three. Yeah, I'm five. I wonder if Carthage is number three. I see no oh, other options. Trade routes through this territory. That's kind of dumb. All right. I mean, right now this game is just me, Yo, Pakal, and Carthage. That's it. There's no one else. Yeah, that's actually a really good way of putting it. So Tolom, we can definitely reduce it to zero. There we go. It's already on zero health. Okay. I will so feel free to take it. I guess I'll pop in with my anti-aircraft gun that has exactly one hit point. Mm-hmm. It should auto win regardless. Yep. Boom. Nice one. Yay, I got gold. Uh create a puppet. What do I get? Public schools, research labs, universities, windmills, workshops, Christa Redentor, Eiffel Tower. Wasn't there three wonders? And uh, no, just Christa okay. Redentor and Eiffel Tower, I think. Right. Still good. Pagoda, yeah, lots Tower of stuff. Is, Eiffel Tower is a really nice one there. Mm -hmm. So we could already peace out, but I don't think we're going to. We will try to take Chichen Itza. Okay, that sounds fine to me. It shouldn't be terribly hard. I'm going to start another nuclear bomb. I don't actually think he has any defenses in there. He's not attacking you from the north or anything, is he? Uh, no. Uh, he's wandering in every now and again from Chidante with his marines, okay. but he's not really doing anything. He's pillaged a few tiles, mm. and that's it. Okay. So, no, no, I'm feeling very safe. He's also wandering into uh, Moscow territory from the south, but mm -hmm. it's not really doing anything. Okay. I will have vision in Chichen Itza in one turn, so I can start attacking it with my artillery soon. I have enough money to upgrade to rocket artillery. We could probably take that city without a nuke, if you want to, but it will be much faster with a nuke. It's up to you. Uh, I'll have a nuke in two turns. May as well nuke okay. it. I mean, yeah, okay. we have to kind of clean the fallout, mm. but it is going to make life a lot easier. Just to peace out as soon as possible. I see rocket artillery coming from the north near Tulum. Do you see it? Uh, near Tulum. Yep. Northwest of Tulum. Mm-hmm. Not sure if he has any melee units in there. Uh, I've got a fair amount of vision, and I don't see any. There's a barbarian encampment? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what? if you can see it. Uh, northwest of Ifi. You know uh -huh. all those mountains? There's a yeah, barbarian yeah. encampment surrounded by six mountains. <laughs> there's a war there's a brute in there it's like one of those lost tribes wow. of people that will never ever yeah yeah I, I i see the tile you're talking about i just don't see the barbarian camp itself oh do you have honor opener that's why you can see it uh or what? no i don't think so i think i just ha okay. must have vision hold on no no uh, I don't maybe have you, honor. Had, you might have had some unit with vision two or something mm, it must just be tolem but yeah, that happens sometimes. Oh, because it's adjacent to my border. Oh, ah, okay, right, that's right, why. you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fantastic. No one will ever bother them. No, you could bombard it and then land a paratrooper on top. Yeah. Although, unless my borders expand to it, I'd never be able to get the paratrooper out. Mm-hmm. That technically... would be a bit of an asshole move. <laughs> yeah. it, it's technically part of Mayan territory. They just wanted to live peacefully in the mountains. I'm looking at all this fallout. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Yeah, 
You know, we could just go on full out nuclear war. Well, kind of been there, <laughs> done that. <laughs> Even more than this, I mean. I am working on Manhattan Project, but that will take me a while. Manila was captured by Carthage. Where the hell is Manila? Wow. Okay. I have no idea where it is. Probably somewhere in the north. Oh, yeah. It's a... I think it's a Venetian city. Leptis mm -hmm. Magna has gone over to Carthage as well. Okay. Uh, no, they're not at war with Venice. Maybe it used to be a Venetian city, and then the Mayans took it over? Okay. I don't know. No idea. Oh, I'm going to ask you well, for some dyes. I'll send you the truffles again once they, they come on board. Hold on, just moving my units around a bit. Just getting ready to attack Chichen Itza. You know, I have to say, this is actually kind of easier than I expected it to be. I expected to see a massive carpet of doom heading in our general direction as soon as we declare war. But oh, yeah. I see no such thing. Yeah, I, he's really busy up north. We actually, like, the yeah. diplomatic stuff that has gone on this mm. game has been phenomenal. Yeah. And we could peace out if we wanted to right now. We just want to take more cities, basically. Yeah, if if a carpet doom shows up, if we're about to lose anything, then we just pull the plug. I'm like, all right, yep. that's good. Try something else. He is still at war with Spain, but I have no idea if he's actually fighting Spain. Oh, Spain took a city uh, northeast of Venice. I have no idea how to pronounce that city's name, so I'm not going to... Try. <laughs> Gan Ganyeke, yeah. Ganye something. <laughs> so that might mean he's actually fighting Spain. I hope he is. All right, next turn I will have another nuke. Assuming mm -hmm. I don't okay. get nuked in Moscow. Although, then All I right. still have it. Isabella made the Apollo program, that's fine. So feel free to nuke Chichen Itza. Will do. I'll start bombarding it. On the next turn, actually. Hey, do you want to take a city? Or do you want me to take it? It's uh, mostly down to happiness. Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference. I am only I'm at negative one happiness right now, but that's mm -hmm. because most of my okay. stuff is pillaged. It has CN Tower and Brandenburg Gate. No happiness wonders. Venice Boom. stole a tech from me. Okay, I don't think I care about that. There you go. Nuked. Oh yeah, one more. Okay, so you want me to take it, or what? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so, just because I don't have mm -hmm. the happiness right now until everything gets rebuilt. Okay, I'll do it then. And scrubbed. My army is actually pretty good right now. I upgraded most of my machine guns to bazookas. That's like my favorite upgrade other than mechanized infantry because it's so cheap. Yeah, it costs nothing. And I lift more workers to Palenque. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out just how strong or how weak Pakal will be once we take all these cities. Tolom, Chichen Itza and Palenque were his three biggest cities. Venice is fourth. He will actually be quite weak after that. 
the main problem is that he already has so many technologies. That's our number one problem. Yeah, and he still has a lot of cities, though. I mean, yeah, he lost his main ones, yeah. but mm -hmm. he's not so going to be a He might a still be able to finish the spaceship, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But we actually are kind of beating him. If you think about it. Well, we that's are true. certainly not losing. <laughs> no, that is very true. I, considering the edge that he had, the yeah. fact that we were, like, say, pulling even mm -hmm. would be a win. And the fact that we've taken these cities, and we'll yeah, probably take sure. another one. And if we wanted to, we could probably take all these cities in the south, like Tikal, Oxmal. Oxmal has the Hubble Space Telescope. That's an important part to know. Tikal? I thought it was Uxmal. Uh, no, Oxmal has the Hubble Space Telescope. Oh, okay, okay. Well... So you could maybe take it yourself a little bit later. Yeah, not right now, but unless I got another nuke or two. Two nukes would do it. Oh, if we take Chichen Itza, we'll actually get a nuke. Or more uranium proper. Yep. Um, that will be eight uranium total. What the hell is hitting Tullum? No idea. It's not being bombarded by anything. And if my border expands south of Rosadir, I might get even more uranium. I just can't buy that tile directly. Because it's out of range of the city. Alright, Chichen Itza. Won't take long. Oh, I hate paratroopers and their long, long animations that freeze the game. I think it will be mine on the next turn. Wow. I don't yeah. see anything that would possibly stop me. I'll move some extra units in. Oh, and now you can get some proper shade routes with me. That's true. How nice is that? It's nice to get the money <laughs> for something, for anything. You're not completely broke anymore, are you? Uh, yeah. I'm actually losing more money than before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are uh, you at I've, zero? I'm at zero with negative uh, 84. Oh, okay. That's pretty bad then. Yeah. You need to establish this shade house then. <laughs> to Palenque. It's and to building. Chichen Itza in a moment. And this will be very safe shade house. No one can possibly pillage them. Oh my god, did he really start sending trade routes back through my stuff again? I think I'm being trolled here by the AI. And still no sign of the Carpet of Doom. Nope. I think Pakal actually lost quite a lot of units when fighting Carthage. And maybe Hiawatha? That's probably but he true. he definitely lost some when fighting Carthage. So after we take... Um... After we take Chichen Itza, do you want to peace out at that point? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then we can always declare war again mm -hmm. in fifteen turns if we want to. And it's going to take but... us that long, I think, to reorganize our yeah. units. Yeah, we need to prepare a little bit. We need to recover, remove all this fallout. You need to get yeah. the money, <laughs> repair your non-existing economy. Let's move that way, and you stay there. Okay. Whew, long turns, so many units. <laughs> and even though preparations for this took several episodes, and maybe it was a little bit boring, I think this <sighs> more than made up for it. So worth it, as long as I don't lose Tulum here, and I, I was going to say I shouldn't. Oh, he actually got more than armor in Chichen Itza. A little bit too late, buddy. Just a tiny wow. little bit too late. They are sexy tanks, though. Yeah. They're pretty scary too, 100 base combat strength. I got a little bit of happiness again. And it's mine. Excellent. Alright. Oh, that gives me the CN tower. 
Cool. Which right, is gonna... not that great, actually. Let's see if I can peace out here. Oh. Mm, yeah, I'm going to peace out. If I ask, he just offers white peace. I'm going to see if I can mm -hmm. bug him for some spices or flat cash. Probably, probably not. Yeah, I don't think he will give me anything. I could wait one more turn, maybe he will change his mind. Because AI needs one turn to actually acknowledge that you took a city. That's true. I mean, I so... didn't take it, but he's still taking damage. Is anything I have at risk? Um... I'm going to wait one more turn on my end. I'm not at risk of losing anything right now. So, yep, I'm going to wait. Palenka will be out of resistance in four turns. I'll get a lot of stuff once he's out of resistance. <laughs> so many wonders inside. Oh, it actually saved the research lab and public school and university. Oh, this freaking city should awesome. be worth a lot of science. It's a shame there's no way to permanently stop the AI from building the spaceship. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Mm, like, completely stop the project or reset the progress if you take a city is being built in. That would kind of make sense, right? Yeah, because right now, just like the parts just mm. get moved somewhere. It's yeah, like, well, yeah. no, that doesn't make any sense. Mm. How does that even work? Yeah, they don't physically exist anywhere, which is kind of annoying. I think they used to, like, I think that's how it used to work in one of the previous civilizations. If you actually took a city, you completely cancel the spaceship project. Yeah. Well, uh, in Civ 4, even after you launched it, you needed four turns mm -hmm. to actually win, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and that's it. If you lost your, your ten turns, if you lost your capital in those ten turns, you still lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. She needs to give me a little bit more money. So many trading partners now. But, you know, even if we lost, I think it was worth it. it this was a lot of fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, hey, it's fun beating an opponent that's technically a lot stronger than you. All right, hopefully I don't lose too much in this next turn from not piecing out. It might not give me anything, but I'll have to try. Yeah, I don't actually see any units anywhere close to my units. Oh, I did lose a civilian unit. Mm-hmm. Where is it? I didn't lose anything. Oh, over there. Where uh, the hell did that guy come from? Ah. What? Now he wants Palenka from me? Are you crazy? What? I think he's been smoking something. Oh, he's back to asking me for tons of stuff. Mm. Well, I'm just well, going to piece it. Yeah, white piece for me. He's actually crazy. He wants Palenka from me. Yeah. All right. So, we're done with the war. <laughs> Woo! What an episode. <laughs> well, or several episodes, actually. Yeah, two or three episodes. Oh, my God. Now, I got to rebuild my entire economy and everything. Mm -hmm. Everything is awful. You need to get caravans first. I'm actually losing money, too, right now. Minus 13 gold per 10. But I still have a pretty big reserve. Mm -hmm. So at, I will be mostly okay. I'm at six of eight caravans. Mm -hmm. So I'm not doing too badly there. I'm at six out of seven, actually. So uh, let's skip one turn and make a cut then. So we yeah. save at the start of a new one. Let me just set some more productions here, apparently. I can build the East India Company in Moscow. You know what? I think that would actually be a really good idea. You know, I don't wish that we could see what was happening in other parts of the map during our war. I'm actually really curious where his main army was during all of this and what it was doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like if you could go back and see the full replay later or something like that. Yeah. Mm, friends with Ify, friends of Vatican City, Marbazir made peace, discovered penicillin. There is some action near Venice. And Ganya, whatever. I need to friendship with you again. Mm-hmm, okay. And I actually have a bunch of citrus to trade. Nice. Although, I think for now I should actually trade it for money. Since things are so bad that way. Mm-hmm. 
We ruined the environment just a little bit. Yeah, just a smidge. <laughs> we ruined Canada. Sorry, Canada. <laughs> you know Pakal is friendly with me? Oh, really? Yeah. He's actually friendly with me as well. Sounds he, legit. He's like, no hard feelings, bro. Yeah, it, it might be fake friendly. It probably is. I can't imagine he's actually friendly after what we did. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like that for a few turns, then it sort of mm -hmm. resets, and then I yeah. don't know. Wow. All right. Finally, next turn. Yeah, there we go. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to do on that turn. I mean, I know that same ideology modifier is huge, but I don't think it's this huge. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, especially since his his idea of peace was me giving up every single one of my cities except my capital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, peace, bro. No, what? <laughs> like, if he was asking for tell him back, I would understand. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Now I've been denounced. All right. Well, there we go. That brings us to the start of the new turn. We'll be able to put in our save. It's 1842. We may still be boned, but yep. maybe not. But we mm -hmm. made this epic. <laughs> A totally epic. We'll go out with a bang. <laughs> thanks for so coming thanks out, for everyone. Thanks for watching, everyone. Mm -hmm. See you next time. See you next time. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Did you know I read every single comment someone leaves on my video? That's insane. Why would I do that? I don't know, but I'll read yours.